Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. And if you want to pass FAR, you're going to need a good teacher for a topic like accounting for income taxes. The multiple choice questions that we're going to do in this video are taken right from the I-75 test bank. This first question, we're going to have to calculate the current income tax expense. They're going to give us book income, financial statement, net income, and then some permanent and temporary differences, and we're going to have to determine taxable income and then the current income tax. For year nine, its first year of operations, Kramer Corp had book income of $340,000 and taxable income of $300,000. The $40,000 difference consisted of the following. Municipal bond interest received $10,000. You can subtract that from the $340,000 because that's not taxable. So we're down to three thirty. dollars Pension accrual, $20,000. Any accrual would be expensed but not deducted yet. Because what's an accrual? It's expense this year, paid next year. So the twenty thousand was subtracted to arrive at the three hundred and forty thousand dollar book income, but you got to add it back. So now we're at three fifty. We started at three hundred and forty thousand, but we subtracted ten thousand and added back twenty thousand. Depreciation for tax purposes in excess of book gives us another fifty thousand dollars in deduction that wasn't expensed yet. So the 50,000 was not subtracted to arrive at the 340, but it is this year's deduction, so take it away. And that brings us to taxable income of 300,000, which they gave us, but I wanted you to see how we got from book income to taxable income with the three items that were there. All they wanna know in this question is, if the tax rate's 20%, how much is current income tax expense in this year nine, their first year of operations? And you would just take 20% of the taxable income and that would be $60,000. And the journal entry would be debit income tax expense current and credit income tax payable current, 60,000. Now that we understand it a little bit, let's see if we can do this question where the tax rates are different in the current year and the future year. Meadows Corp had pre-tax book income of 150,000 in year one. Temporary differences included depreciation for tax purposes and excess of book depreciation of 10000 warranty expenses that are not tax deductible yet, 4000 How much is current tax expense for year one? So not deferred, current, assuming a 21% tax rate in the current year and a 25% rate in future years. We don't care what the rate is in future years because they're not asking for deferred tax. They're only asking for current. So our job is to calculate taxable income for this current year. Start with book income, 150,000, and then excess depreciation for tax purposes means that an additional 10,000 can be subtracted from book income to arrive at taxable income. We're down to 140,000 right now, 150 minus 10. Then warranty expenses. that are not tax deductible yet, but they've been expensed on the books. So add back 4,000 and we're at 144. Now multiply by the 20% current rate and you'll get your current tax expense of 30,240. Now be honest, could you have answered those last two questions correctly five minutes ago? Let's take what we learned and do one more. Balton Company began operations in year four and reported 225,000 in income before income taxes for the year. Now what do they wanna know? How much is current tax expense for year four? So what they have is book income of 225, and then they say year four tax depreciation exceeded book depreciation by 25,000. So take another 25,000 as a deduction, in addition to what was deducted for depreciation on the books, take another 25,000 they're saying for tax purposes. And that brings us to 200,000, but they also had non-deductible book expenses of 10,000 relating to permanent differences. So we'll have to take that 10,000 and add it back because although it was a book expense, it's not a tax deduction. 
and that'll bring taxable income to 210,000. They give us a 20% tax rate, so the current year tax expense must be 42,000. Let's do another one. Now that we're more confident calculating the current income tax expense, let's build on that confidence and learn how to calculate deferred income tax. Balton Company began operations in year four and reported 225,000 in income before taxes for the year. What do they want to know? How much is deferred income tax expense for year four? So if they began operations in year four and they want the deferred income tax for year four, then you're looking for a temporary difference or two, and then you're going to multiply it by the future enacted rate. So let's look for some temporary differences. It says year four tax depreciation exceeded book depreciation by 25,000. Well, right there, that's a temporary difference. So 25,000, if there's no other temporary differences, times the 20%, the answer is going to be 5,000. What else we got? Non-deductible book expenses of 10,000 related to permanent differences. Okay, so the 10,000 was expensed in the financials this year and it'll never be deducted. So then that's not a temporary difference. Ignore that. So the deferred tax expense, $5,000. Your journal entry for that will be the debit income tax expense deferred and credit income tax payable deferred. If they asked you for the total income tax expense, what would you do? Well, then you would need to know the current income tax expense. And for that, you would need to calculate the current taxable income. Starting with book income of 225, subtract another 25,000 because that's the depreciation deduction this year that'll reverse in the future. So subtract another 25, add back a non-deductible expense because this 10,000 was subtracted on the books to arrive at 225. So add it back and taxable income for the year would be 210,000. Then you would multiply by 20% and the current tax expense would be 42,000. The deferred we calculated already at 5,000, the total tax expense would have been 47,000. So if you like this gradual approach to learning, not memorizing, go to cpaexamtutoring.com. Get yourself on I-75, the number one supplement where the right teacher makes all the difference.